you to my cousin. <laughs> they are sure. Don't I look like Carlito with this hairstyle? I'm trying to like, all right, so every time I get my hair, my hair done, it's every other Sunday at seven in the morning. Like I get a haircut on Saturday and then I, on Sunday I get my hair done, right? That's every two weeks. I didn't feel like doing it this time and my barber was out of town. I was like, fuck it. I work from home. I don't see no customers. I don't do none of that shit. I'm gonna just like leave my hair out. But the problem with my hair is, is that it does this. Like it grows out like that. This is, this is gonna have to make do. But I kind of like this. I kind of like it. Like I could put on a bandana or some shit and let it sit. Like I could put on my Jiraiya joint. You know what I mean? I can't wear no hats, but it's kind of cool. And I look like Carlito. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. No? All right, so boom. Last episode, we were trekking in the desert and I'm over it. I don't want to be in the desert no more. I want to be in a town solving problems. Like I'm over traveling through the desert. Um, and then Vivi had a fight with Luffy. She was beating the snot out of Luffy. Luffy's tired of traveling in the desert too. He just wants to fight Crocodile, which as the viewer, I just want to see you fight Crocodile. Also, a lot of people have been saying that Usopp, um, it's not fair that we give Usopp, you know, so much trouble when he's just a regular dude. Nami's a regular chick though. As far as I know, Nami's regular. And I prefer Nami over fucking Usopp. Usopp's a bum. And there's no amount of, you know, oh, Usopp does this or Usopp does that that's gonna change my mind. He's a bum. I don't even know why he's there. The crazy thing is, though, is if I was in the show, I'd be Usopp. So, because I'm just a regular dude. However, I would be searching for a devil fruit so I could get that flame flame fruit. You know what I'm saying? I would be, I would not be on a pirate ship, you know, tucking tail and running every time. Like, if I'm going to be on Luffy's team, I'm going to be like, all right, but I want a devil fruit. Let's find a devil fruit so I can fucking get some sort of power so I can be up there with y'all. It don't have to be, you know, I know Zoro, and Zoro's a regular dude too, he just trained. I don't know, bro. I would be trying to get a devil fruit. I'm down with, like, with Usopp being a part of the team. We just need him to do something. He's kind of useful when it comes to fixing shit, but like I said, if I was on the show, I'd be a regular dude. So I would be Usopp. But like I said, I'd be trying to find a devil fruit. Because, for one, I ain't going to be training all day. I mean, look at me in real life. I ain't training all day. And for two, I'm not, like, inherently good at, you know, fighting and shit. You know. I'm only good at fighting in real life, which I haven't fought in years. But I'm only good at fighting in real life because I've been fighting my whole life. But I haven't fought in years. The last time I even got close to a fight was when I slapped that dude at McDonald's. But that was like a one hit. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been in a fight in a minute. And my stamina is cheeks. So I would want a devil fruit. Anyway. Not to harp on it much longer, but if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. And I am eating some sour onion. They smell like fucking armpits, bro. Like, it does not smell good at all. An hour and a half of recording. I'm, I need some sustenance, bro. I can't sit here for an hour and a half and not have no sustenance. <laughs> Where are we at? I can deal with a day if y'all skip it. Fuck. I wonder if his friends are there with him. The king didn't steal the rain. the <laughs> I respect what he's saying right now. Damn. 
お前らしくないな昔の俺を見ているみたいで腹が立った It exactly was like you was looking at your old self. Oh, 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 政府側の人間だと油断していたまさかこの国を乗っ取ろうとしていたとは井川さんがあの人はビビ様とこの国のために命を張った Fuck man He died like shit too I didn't even realize how cool of a person he was until he died ビビの覚悟と井川の死を無駄にはさせんすぐに撃って出るぞクロコダイルのいる I'm glad they know about you too ビビスモーカーズヘアトゥそもそもこの国は何か<笑>何か後ろにでかい影を感じてんだろう。ははは。どうしてやるぞ俺は爆弾人間を急げるは
失踪した男の子。<笑>この十手の先端には海洋石って白物が仕込んであるある海域にのみ存在する不思議な石だそうだまだ謎の多い鉱物だがこの石は海と同じエネルギーを発してるおお確かにチープ海軍本部の監獄の柵は全部こいつでできている悪魔の身の能力を持つ犯罪者が逃げられないようにだブゾロシビーブルチャップラシーブの柵も同じものででなきゃ俺はとっくにここを出て共に死に行く者同士仲良くやればいいじゃねえか Bro, you can cut that, can't you? クロコザイル何<笑><笑>ちょっと待ってくれ。噂通りの野犬だなスモーカー君<笑>俺を花から味方と思ってくれてねえようだスモーカーてめえには自己死してもらうことにしよう麦わらって小物海賊相手によく戦ったと政府には報告しておくさちゃんと消してやるからもう少し待てまだ主品が到着してねえ主品今ビビ俺のパートナーに向かいに行ったとこ Is that powder? Oh! Oh shit! Oh, that's fucking the guy with the king! That's pretty sick. Oh, word? The bird, bird fruit? <laughs> oh, there's multiple versions of the bird, bird fruit? Nope. There it is. That's crazy. Flower, flower fruit? Oh, oh my god! She broke his back? She's OD! I think he has a hand in there. I don't think he actually has a hook. Fuck, she got lucky, bro. She got so fucking lucky. 
お前はアラバスタに何を吸うつもりなのええ、俺が最も軽蔑する態度の人間を教えてやろうか国民の幸せとやらを御所を大事にする偽善者さ父上を殺す気でしょ、this is just overly evil what?センスですだめ。そのために大勢の人間が水も食料もなく死んでるんですよ。国王様はそのことはもちろん知っている。数多くのオアシスが枯れたことも。だが国を守るためには多少の犠牲は山を得。あの水が。This is part of the project. Uh, the plan. I think that's Mr. Two. Oh my god, we know that's not the king. That's not the king, bro. I think that's Mr. Two. So he can't see it yet either. What? This shit is crazy. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Yep. Oh, why is this nigga running like this? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
There's no way. What I do like so far is that they have countermeasures to the devil fruit. But it sucks because now Luffy's stuck in that, that cell. Also, this plan is insane. He still didn't say why he did it though. Like, why are you doing this? Like, what is the purpose? All right, so you blow them off the map, but is it for your own pleasure? Like, what the fuck? Where is the king? Like, I know you got kidnapped, but fuck, how? Like, there was guards? Like, how the hell? And then what they do to that little kid? He was bleeding from the nose and the head. Like, they probably, like, hit him over the head with something really hard. What's his name? Getting shot? I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that shit at all. At all. His plan went perfect. And now the revolution is going to fight the kingdom. Um, Vivi and them is trapped. So there's nothing they can do. The real king is gone. The kid is so fucked up, he can't even say nothing. What a plan. That is some shit. Now that is, that is some pirate shit I could get behind. Now I'm not saying like I could do it, but like I mean like he's like, okay, he's evil and he's overly evil, but it's not like Don Krieg and them. Like this is like a big elaborate. Now I understand why the arc is so long because you had to be invested into why this nigga needs to be dead. Cause like Arlong was a piece of shit too. They're all pieces of shit. Arlong was a piece of shit too. But Crocodile is like worse, in my opinion. Croc so far, Crocodile is like the worst. Niggas are getting dead fucking with Crocodile. Like dead, like big dead. A lot of people are dying because of Crocodile. And then like this shit is framed on the king, and then also Crocodile is one of the seven warlords. So not only is he like smart as fuck, but he's strong as fuck. He's got the sand sand fruit. How are you supposed to beat that nigga once you get out? Sure, Luffy's gonna get out eventually, and he's gonna have to fight this nigga eventually, but you can't cut him, you can't punch him. Like, what do you do? What do you do? You heat him up, Ace ain't there. If Ace was there, we could have turned that nigga into diamonds or glass. But Ace ain't there, Ace bounced, fuck. I wonder if that paper, if I could be like, hey, so you come get me A's. And then he come flying in. That would be sick, but I don't know what that paper does. I need to know what that paper does. This whole fuck. I know after this though, it's gonna be wild filler. After this. I think it's gonna be wild filler. Cause this shit has just been non-stop. Like there's been little shit in between, but it's been non-stop. This is the shit that we need to do. When they got to when they got to Drum Island, like when Igram Igram died, and then they got to the island with the giants, and then they finally got to Alabaster, and then you know what I'm saying? Like it's just been non-stop for this one quest. Luffy gonna get out. I just don't know how you're gonna beat him. I don't know. You gotta be real creative to write a villain with a power like that, and then be like confident on the way your character beats that villain. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't just you don't just write the villain, animate it, throw him in there, and then you know hope for the best. Like you knew how you was gonna beat that nigga, so I can't wait to see how they beat that nigga. I hope it has something to do with fire, and they turn him into like a glass statue or some shit. That would be cool. But I don't know, man. This arc has been whew, this. These last three episodes have just been like shocker after shocker after shocker. So. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out the Patreon so you don't, you know, you can see uncut videos and shit like that. And on social media. And I'll see you in the next one. Fuck.